What's going on everyone? I hope you're having a fabulous day out there. So, while on the golf course down here in Arizona, um, I get questions all the time from uh, executives who have portfolios and I get questions from people who have invested in their retirement and they don't really understand the stock market that well. And they often mention derivatives. Now this video is gonna be about derivatives, what they are, and some things that uh, you know you should know about derivatives. What is a derivative? A derivative is a contract. That's all it is in its plain form. It's a contract. Now on the road to become an investment advisor, I'm being taught by an attorney and investment bankers. They're literally teaching me to become an investment advisor to get licensed. Now, this is a great privilege. One of the guys uh, I watch all the time is Dean Tenney. And one of the guys teaching me, his name's Brian Lee. Fantastic, they're the best at this, okay? They're the best. And, and one of the questions I get is, do you have the, they, they tell me to tell people. They teach me to tell people. If you have the time, temperament, and expertise to manage your own wealth portfolio, so be it. All the best to you. But if you don't have that experience and the time and the temperament, it's best you establish a financial relationship with a professional who is licensed, like me, I'll soon be licensed, and have us watch your portfolio and help you grow it. And, and these aren't short-term relationships these are long-term relationships now i'm getting into investment advice as an investment advisor for funds okay assets under management all that good stuff and uh but now a lot of people say you should just buy the index fund and watch it for your portfolio if that's what you want to do fine but most people have more to their portfolio than just an index fund and they need more because they have more more assets Okay, so professional management is a smart play. It really truly is. And that's why I'm being trained up. Uh, so let's get back to derivatives. The three types of derivatives are this. Options. Options are contracts in the stock market. That's all they are. They're standardized. They're regulated. And they're registered. Okay. Uh, so there's a lot of eyeballs that watch things that goes on there. All right. It, Retail clients can do options contracts, and so can institutions. Now, the second one I want to write, I want to really share is futures contracts. Let me give you some examples of futures contracts. Southwest Airlines here in uh, Phoenix uses a lot of fuel for its business and jet airplanes for its, you know, operations, and it would be very, very expensive for them, which it takes up most of their capital to uh, buy fuel, Jet A. In order to lock in prices in the future to save money, they buy their products on a futures market with futures contracts. Isn't that smart? It's pretty smart to me. Now there's two futures contracts, or two futures exchanges, one in Chicago and one in New York on Wall Street. Now check this out. Retail customers can uh, buy futures contracts, and so can institutions. Now, let's just give you an example of another person who might use a futures contract. Your standard corn farmer or wheat farmer in Kansas or Nebraska, where I'm from. I'm from Kansas, Kansas City. They're coming down here for the Super Bowl this weekend. Let's go Chiefs. Yes, they're coming down. They're going to win the Super Bowl here against the Eagles. Uh, Future contracts. If you're a wheat farmer in Kansas and you want to sell your crop, well, you can do that by buying a futures contract and locking in that price. You can sell a contract, I mean, sell a contract, lock in a price to sell your crop. Isn't that interesting? I didn't know that until recently, but that's how they do it. So that's futures contracts, it's commodities. You got gold, silver, copper. Uh, contracts, I mean, the fuel market, uh, these are all interesting commodities. They're really interesting. 
contract I like to talk about, a derivative, is forward contracts. Now, what's unique about forward contracts? They're traded institution to institution only. Not, they're, they're traded over the counter, but institution to institution. They're unregulated, they're unregistered contracts. All right. So, a great example of forward contracts is watching the movie The Big Short. And what we're going about to watch is Dr. Michael Burry with his contract, forward contract, with Goldman Sachs. And we're also going to watch Mark Baum with his fund and how they won with a bet, a forward contract against Morgan Stanley, credit default, credit default swaps. So check that out right now. Watch this. Swaps on mortgage bonds, a credit default swap that will pay off if the underlying bond fails. You want to bet against the housing market? Why? Those bonds only fail if millions of Americans don't pay their mortgages. That's never happened in history. If you'll excuse me, Dr. Berry, it seems like a foolish investment. Well, based on prevailing sentiment of the market and banks and popular culture, yes, it's a foolish investment, but. Uh, everyone's wrong. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> this is Wall Street, Dr. Burry. If you offer us free money, we are going to take it. I want... Dr. Berry, these should be fine. Yeah, we're prepared to sell you five million in credit default swaps on these mortgage bonds. Can we make it a hundred million? Absolutely, we can make it one hundred million. Shake your money. Opportunity. No, money. Oh, okay. We smell money. Okay. Chris? God damn it. Sorry. This is your basic mortgage bond. All right? The originals were simple. They were just thousands of AAA mortgages bundled together, guaranteed by the U.S. government. The modern ones are different. They're private, and they're made up of layers of tranches. The highest level AAA is getting paid first. The lowest rated B is getting paid last, taking on defaults first. Now, obviously, if you're buying Bs, you can make more money, but they're a little risky. Sometimes they fail. Chris? Somewhere along the line, these Bs and double Bs went from a little risky to dog shit. Where's the trash? I'm behind you. I'm talking rock bottom FICO scores. No income verification. Adjustable rates, dog shit. The default rates are already up from 1% to 4%, fellas. And if they rise to 8%, and they will, a lot of these triple Bs are going to zero too. And that, you're too close is an opportunity. Okay, you're saying that at 8% the bonds fail and we are already at 4%? That's right. If they go to 8, it's Armageddon. Yeah, that's right. How come nobody's talking about this? Wasn't that cool? Isn't that interesting? So when you hear about forward contracts, think about the movie The Big Short. Interesting stuff, right? Yes, it is. So these guys have hedge funds and they're trading institution to institution. So Really interesting stuff here. Not a lot of people really focused on forward contracts unless you're an institution. Interesting. So, uh, that's kind of it. That's the three derivatives I'm going to talk about today. And when I'm out on the golf course, these guys, all these, you know, retired doctors, dentists, you know, guys who are executives, uh, around some really big heavy hitters down here in Arizona. And that's what we talk about. They want me educated, and I, I'm in a position now where I can't. And if you would like to know more, I would love to share my, my own personal finance website, jamesonsharp.com, and take a look at that. I'm writing interesting articles. i just finishing up an article right now, a post uh, about BlackRock and how their asset-backed securities, uh, how Larry Fink uh, packaged mortgaged uh, home mortgages as asset-backed securities and trade, be traded in the market. He was the pioneer for that, and then he joined uh, uh, 
Mr. Steven Schwarzman of Blackstone. And very interesting story there. So as opposed to it's getting ready to come out soon. So go check that out on my website, jamesonshark.com. It's all about finance. There you go. jamesonshark.com, finance. Interesting stuff. So anyway, that's all, all we got today. I hope you learned something. It's very interesting stuff. I'm learning uh, becoming an investment advisor, representative, and RIA, I'm an independent risk investment advisor, and earning my license, taking the test and all that, getting trained up for that. Anyway, it's interesting stuff. It really, it truly is. So I hope you learned something today. That's all I got. And I guess until next time, please subscribe, like, share. And until next time, we will see you later. Go Chiefs. They're going to win the Super Bowl. Take care. Have a good one.